Well, hello. This is my, I guess, first of what I hope to be many, um, just conversations. Sitting in my garden and talking about what is on my mind today. And what was on my mind was how to maintain a state of peace and tranquility when um, the outside world is giving you energies and encroaching upon what is your normal state of being and you find yourself rather pressured or stressed and and that is how I felt this morning and so I thought wow you're being challenged here because you teach peace of mind you teach all these wonderful things and give people all these wonderful tools and now it's time to use them. So my place of peace is always in nature. So I headed for my little spot in the garden that is really like a sanctuary to me. And it's Saturday morning and it's peaceful. And as soon as I was out and I sat among the trees, and you know, it is a lovely garden, it's not very big, but you know, it gives me, um, in the corner here, there's a young fig tree that I have just, um, well, I actually found that as a little stick in my garden when I moved here, and now it's got fruit. And I was here with my two beautiful cats who may be romping around, and if you hear funny noises, it's usually because they are playing with something. So I decided I would get my laptop and I would sit here and chat to you. So what is it about us losing our peace of mind or our, our, our inner center or, as I say, what happened and what made me lose my connector soul? Well, I don't think I ever lose my connector soul, but there is interference. You know how you, um, when you have a, um, you're listening to the radio and you're not quiet on the channel and you get this going on and you're trying desperately to hear and you hear things and but it keeps cutting out and it goes I hope you like sound effects and then, well that's really what was going on with me my soul was desperate inside saying come on come on come on but as always I do get a lot of support from the outside and there were a few you know things that came to my mind as I was watching a bit of a documentary this morning when I do my I do my own work early in the morning and I was reading my um, spiritual book club book The Pilgrimage which is what we're reading at the moment by Paolo Coelho and there were just a few sentences that came to me and they showed me exactly what I was facing and what I needed to let go of and it is a huge challenge I think that all of us who are on this path face every day and that is that outside energies do tend to um, still infringe upon us at times and so it's really important to know how to get back to our center how to get back to that place of inner peace and and well-being and the first thing is to accept what is and then to let go of the control of it because that is what I was desperately trying to control I was trying to control my outside situation and I realized it was turning me into somebody that I don't want to be. And I'm very strong about knowing what kind of person and how I want to express myself in this world. So I had to let that go. And I have to say that my beautiful garden was the place to go to with a cup of tea and a piece of toast for breakfast. And I sat here. And you know, it just all fell off. And now I am in a state of peace and I'm back to being centered and feeling connected and letting the outside world do what it needs to do. But also being very aware that I need to nurture me and I need to always make sure that I bring myself back to that space, that, that I look after me first. Because from all that, everything else comes. So here I am in my beautiful garden and for everyone else, find a sanctuary, find a place 
where you feel at one with the world and at one with you, where you can really just be you, where it's peaceful and, hey, you may not like it peaceful. You might like it on a train, for all I know. Um, not me. I'm not a big train person. But, but we all need to find a place. Some people do it with meditation. And yes, I can do that too. But for me, it's always been nature. And I think we all need to go out into nature and to commune with the flora of this beautiful, beautiful world and the fauna, of course. So for me, it's Saturday and I'm not sure what it is for you when you look at this. But I give you love because I know at the end of the day, it is love that will always bring us back to our peaceful state of mind and our connection to soul. Namaste.